in this lecture we will discuss about how to create shell script for that first we have to click on terminal now check different files and file folders available on our desktop now this is the current directory where we have different files and folders are available now to create a shell script we have to first use cat command you can also use touch command or vi editor for the same for example i am using the cat command for that you have to use cat cat symbol and file name for example my file is file.sh you have to give the extension to shell script as .sh now i have to write three command name pwd ls and date command okay now after that when you just completed your uh, written work then you have to type the control d command control d you are on a same terminal line now when you want to uh, run this particular file you have to write dot slash and file name file dot sh because sh is the extension of this particular file enter press you will see a particular message here bash dot slash file dot sh permission denied because initially uh, shell script not having the execution permission for the author or you can say the owner of the file to check the file permission we have to click uh, we have to check with the help of command ls space hyphen ld and file name my file is file dot sh you will see that this is this hyphen is for the file type first character then you can see that rw is means these three condition for the permission for the user or you can see the owner of the file next three permission for the group next three permission for the other group now you can see that here owner of the file has, is having the read write and not having the execution permission to give permission to a particular group or particular uh, person we have to use the ch mode command ch mode change mode then because we want to give execution permission to the author then for author we have to type the u for user plus because we are giving the permission then x because uh, initially this this permission is not uh, in the file.sh then file name file.sh now again we can check the current permissions of this particular file file.sh now you can see that we have we have uh, x permission is uh, here for the author of this particular file now to run this particular file we have dot slash and file.sh now you can see that we can also check the content of this file using the file, uh, cat command now you can see that, see that pwd is current working directory this is the output of this particular line ls is the listing of the directory and files available on the current directory this is the output of this particular command and last one is the date this is the output of this particular command this is the power of the unix system that just uh, by uh, written some of some command name in a normal file and that giving the permission uh, giving the file extension as a dot sh that is a shell script and changing the user as a no, uh, execution permission for the user or you can see the owner of the file we can execute this command name as a complete command output that we get on a terminal line now also we can check two three important command that is related to the shell first how many shell is, shells are available in your system because shells can vary from uh, ubuntu system or you can say the different versions of the ubuntu also unix to linux now in my current operating system current version of the ubuntu i can i want to check the different type uh, different uh, shells available for that you have to type the cat space slash etc slash shells this is the command to check the number of uh, shells available so these are shells are available currently in my system shell bash then user bin bash bin r bash then user bin r bash bin bash now these are the current uh, available shell in your system now to check the 
डिफॉल्ट शेल वी हैव टू टाइप द कमांड इको स्पेस डॉलर एंड शेल इन कैपिटल कैपिटल केस ओके नाउ बीन बैच इज द करंट शेल इफ यू वांट टू चेंज शेल फ्रॉम बीन बैच टू अदर शेल अदर शेल इट मींस द अवेलेबल शेल देन यू हैव टू यूज द सी एच एस एच कमांड सी एच एस एस मींस द चेंज शेल नाउ वी हैव टू टाइप द पासवर्ड now you can see that current login shell is bin bash and my available shells are the bin bash or bash so i try to change bin bash to bin dash for that type the complete name slash bin slash dash okay enter press now how to check that uh, my current bash is uh, changed from bin bash to bin dash For that again, you have to use the ch sh chain shell. Then type the password. Now you can see that in earlier we have been bash. Then with the help of this particular command, we change the uh, login shell to the bin dash. Now again, I'm trying the ch sh command. Now the current shell is bin dash. So with this particular command, you can change the current shell. For your working point of view, again, I change my shell to again to dash. That is the default shell. Bin dash. This is all from uh, my side for shell and how to make a shell script and how to run that particular uh, shell script with the help of command.